Hi, this is a quick video on how to pre-record your PowerPoint presentations, turning them into videos that people will be able to watch anywhere. When you have created your PowerPoint presentation, as you would do for any other normal lecture, and you have saved your presentation, you can go into the slideshow tab at the top here in PowerPoint 2010 or newer. Under Slideshow, you will be able to select Record Slideshow. From in here, you will be able to choose either to start recording from the beginning of your presentation or record from a current slide if you have already started recording your PowerPoint presentation and are returning at a later date. So we're going to start from the beginning and we're going to select both options here to record the animation timings and to record narrator, uh, narrations and laser pointer. When we are ready to start recording, we click Start Recording. Everything we say is now being recorded for this PowerPoint presentation. As we move through the PowerPoint presentation, you'll see that there are two times, timers running at the top left-hand corner here. The first timer is telling you how long you've been on this particular slide for, and the second one is how long your entire presentation is. You have the ability here to pause the recording and take a breather and when you're ready you can click resume recording and it will re resume recording from the point which you left off. If you decide that this slide that we've currently been working on for 20 seconds is no good and you want to start it over, just click the repeat button. This will pause your recording and take you back to the beginning of that slide and you can start recording that slide all over again. As you can see, an animations will work exactly the same as they do in any other presentation. And if you wish to highlight something to your students, holding down the control button on your keyboard and then using pressing the left mouse button and holding that down will give you this laser pointer option. And we can see here that we can move around and just highlight something that we're talking about at the time. Letting go of the mouse button and control will turn the laser pointer off. When you have done recording or you've reached the slides at which, at which you wish to stop recording for today, just hit the escape button. This will take you back into normal PowerPoint view. In this view, we can see here that we have recorded timings of 8 seconds for the first slide and 1 minute 3 seconds for the second slide. We haven't done the rest of the slides yet. Under the View tab and Normal, we see now that the slides that we've recorded narration on have this grey speaker icon and when we hover over it we can listen to the audio that was placed onto that slide. We can also preview our video by running the slideshow as normal from beginning. We say and we can now hear the audio. And we can see that it progresses on as we have recorded. And we can see the laser pointer here as it's been recorded. Okay, so once we have uh, got our presentation recorded and we are happy with it and it all sounds nice, uh, we need to turn this into a video and to do this you need to just go to file save as and when this uh, box opens up the default save as type is a PowerPoint presentation and what we need to do is to just open this up and change it into a WMV Windows Media Video this one here so we've selected that and give it a meaningful title and just click save and PowerPoint doesn't really tell you much more um, unless you look for it so you kind of think that it's done right now but down here at the bottom we have a progress bar and um, we can't see much at the moment but this will work its way through and your video will be ready for you once this is finished and this can take a while so it's best not to save it as a video um, five minutes before you need to leave for home. So we'll come back in a second when this is uh, completed. 
So we can see here that uh, PowerPoint has now completed saving and the only way we know that is that the message down here has disappeared. We can go into our uh, file browser and we can see now that we have the video and we can just double click on that to play it and check it. Everything we say is now being recorded. And what we can do is uh, drag the timeline bar here and we can just check through the presentation. And we can see here that the laser pointer has been recorded, highlighting things to the students. This video now should be uploaded to a suitable place for the students to be able to access this. The recommendation is that it is uploaded to YouTube and then embedded inside the virtual learning environment, um, which for Kiel University is referred to as the KLE. You'll be shown how to do this in another video.